All right, guys, here we are. Um, are we going to keep this hand? The answer is going to be yes. We got a lot of threats. Uh, we got turn one play. We got a turn two play. Hopefully we'll draw into something good. I feel good about it. Still over here a little slow, but if he has another slow start, I'm, I feel pretty good. So let's just, let's just see what happens. Turn one Serum Visions. Let's see where he puts those cards. Bottom top. I can only assume one of them is the amulet. What do we get? An ornithopter. Not the worst. So let's go ahead and play our Ink Moth, Mim Knight, Ornithopter, Signal Pest, or excuse me, Vault Scourge. And next turn we'll either play the Steel Overseer or if we draw a Mox Opal, we will go ahead and play our um, cranial plating. And he can't play another land this turn, he, so he's, oh, he didn't play land already, my bad. He might be playing a turn one, um, I have no idea actually, because he only played one this turn. Oh man, he might be going for a pyroclasm here, that'd be pretty bad. Please don't be pyroclasm, that's all I'm going to say. I don't know if this deck even runs pyroclasm. But if it does, we're about to find out, and we're in for a very nasty surprise. Another Amulet of Vigor, does that do anything extra for him? I'm honestly not sure. Mox Opal, great draw. So let's go ahead and suit up our Vault Scourge. And we will attack here for eight. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep the Overseers in my hand in case he does have a board sweep, like a Creeping Corrosion or a Fire Spout or a pyroclasm. Alright, what is he playing here? A Vesuva. Copying Gruel Turf. So now he has four mana in his pool. Oh, I see. He gets two activations out of it. If he plays a Primeval Titan here, that is, I think, the best thing for us. Because we have so much evasion. We have seven points of damage in the air, um, plus our Ink Moth, a Summoner's Pack. So yeah, he's going for a Titan here. I don't think we care, though. So let's see. If I play another Steel Overseer, I can do eight. I can do nine damage to him next turn if I animate and play an Overseer. I don't know what I'm really hoping to draw. Master of Ethereum would be really nice, actually. Seems like kind of a pipe dream, though. Uh, and Soul Artifact would be great. I could put it on the Vault Scourge and attack him for 5 plus 7. That would certainly win us the game. Um, we're just going to have to see what he goes and fetches, I suppose. Thankfully, this also, this, since this is a black creature, he gets around um, Slaughter Pact. He cannot Slaughter Pact my Vault Scourge. So that's really nice. So let's just see what he fetches here. I honestly don't know. He's all right. Simic Growth Chamber. Oh, so he actually gets to make a ton of mana this turn because he's going to be able to tap and untap these with these. So yeah, that's how this combo works. They they play Primeval Titan. They play these these lands that tap for two but enter tapped. So he didn't go for two there. That's interesting. So it's going to untap. He's going to tap it for mana. So we got one mana, two mana. Man, I hope he doesn't have a Creeping Corrosion here. Four mana. I hope he's another Titan. Actually, I don't know what I hope he has. It all seems pretty bad. Another Titan it is. 
So he's just getting a ton of stuff here. I think he's going to try and attack with them. Yeah, he is. How much damage could he do to me? Can he do 25 damage to me in one turn? I just don't think so. I guess he's not going to go for it. Because he already used an untap on that. I'm not going to F6. I don't like F6-ing. So yeah, he's not going to get in for 16, which is good. He is going to get in here for 8, though. Because I do not want to block with... I don't want to block with my Ornithopter. We'll see what he's tutors up here. Maybe the double strike land. He's doing this on his turn three, no less. And I thought, hear, hear me thinking he had a bad draw. Okay, so he gets a zero one plant creature token and another blue mana. So he'll have access to four mana. Might be the creeping corrosion. If he does that, I don't think we can win. We'll see, though. I'm not going to block. All right, moment of truth here. So we can destroy target artifact or enchantment. Let's go ahead and thought seize them. Ooh, so they're all things I can't take. Gemstone, Mine, Slayer Stronghold, Tendo Ice Bridge, and Vesuva. I think we've lost this game at this point, since he can now just destroy our cranial plating. But I'm not going to give up. I don't like giving up. I think he just kills the Vault Scourge. I'm honestly not sure. He might kill um, Cranial Plating. Yep, he destroyed the Vault Scourge. That's fine. So now he's got to pay a ton of mana, which I guess doesn't matter, because he just gets four more mana cards, lands, if you will. So let's see what his play is. Thankfully he let me keep my Cranial Plating, so I can play the Steel Overseer, I can equip Cranial Plating to Ornithopter, and maybe I, I'm still in this game. We will see. So it looks like he bounced the the haste plus two plus zero and vigilance land back to his hand. All right, he's going to get in for 12 here. I'm not going to block. I feel like my best course of action here is just. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends what he gets. It, he could just win here. If he's any way of making his guys bigger, he could just win. Yeah, he's going to be able to give his guy double strike. Let's just see what happens. That's pretty gnarly, though. Really need to draw those ancient grudges to take care of these amulets. They enable his whole combo as well. So yeah, he is going to give a creature double strike. So that creature is now going to do 12 damage to me. I guess I do need to... I don't know if I can win, actually. I'm going to try and block. So let's see, that's 12 damage. That's 18 damage. 
Act to prevent three. I can do that so far. I'm sure he'll do it to his other one, though, as well. Yeah, I'm feeling a game three coming on. Which wasn't fast enough that game, I guess, even, which is, you know, weird to say considering that we got Vault Scourge and Cranial Plating. So, yeah, I definitely cannot win. But, gotta give it the old college try. Uh, sure, let's just do it like that. Oh, man. Oh, well, there we go. I forgot it. The double strike. All right, let's just go ahead and sideboard again. Do we like the way that things look? I still feel like Etch isn't that strong because he just gets trampled over. And, like, you saw that he did all that in, like, one turn. This doesn't get his Titan all the way. This doesn't really do anything either. I think we're just going to keep the way it is and hope that we get a, a better start next time. But I'll see you guys in the next video.